meeting. What I'm going to show you now is that anyone who has a few minutes access uh, to the ABC Advantage voting machine can open it up and uh, replace uh, the software inside with fraudulent software. Now, in this voting machine, the computer program is stored on ROM chips that look like this. So I have here uh, three ROM chips. Uh, and there are ROM chips of this uh, type inside the machine that contain uh, the firmware. And uh, when the machines come from the factory, presumably they contain the, the, the firmware of the computer program as it's provided by Sequoia. And what I've done is I've prepared a fraudulent uh, computer program, one that appears to count the votes, but in fact um, switches votes from one candidate to another. And I've arranged it so that just by replacing one of the ROM chips in the ABC Advantage voting machine, uh, you can install uh, this fraudulent section of the program that switches votes around. And what I'll demonstrate right now is um, how to open up the machine and replace uh, the ROM chip in the machine so that it will miscount votes in an election. So the door to the voting machine is, um, is locked with a key. It was left locked by the poll workers. And the first thing that uh, an attacker would have to do uh, to install a fraudulent program is to pick the lock. So I'll do that first. Now I'm going to unhook the operator panel just to get it out of the way. Now I'm going to unscrew this sheet metal panel which covers up the computer circuit board containing the computer and the ROM chips that have the computer program. This is the Z80 uh, computer chip on the main circuit board, and these three white label chips are the ROMs, uh, and I'll just have to replace uh, this one ROM chip with a fraudulent computer program. So I remove it 
simply by prying it loose from its socket with a screwdriver. So this is the legitimate computer program as installed by the manufacturer. And here is one of my fake ROM chips. It's a real ROM chip containing a fraudulent computer program that I've previously prepared. And I install it simply by pressing it into the socket. And now I have to reinstall the cover. screw in all the screws again. And now I'll have to pick the lock once more to get it to close. And that's it. So at this point, um, changing the computer program won't um, affect the machine's ability to cheat in previous elections. But now, in every future uh, election run on this machine, uh, the fraudulent software will be installed. And software of this kind can easily recognize in the ballot definition uh, which are the Republican candidates and which are the Democratic candidates and so on. So uh, this machine will now start cheating in future elections. And what we'll do now is uh, run the next election. Uh, normally, uh, the races on the ballot in the next election would not be the same as the races on the ballot in the previous election. But since this machine has a printed paper ballot sheet that's set up exactly 